Today, we're going to be talking about what you need to do with your LinkedIn once you become overemployed. So let's say you got your second fully remote job offer. You already have one remote job and now you're about to accept your second remote job. So amazing. You feel amazing. You're going to double your paychecks and it's going to be great. But you realize you still have a LinkedIn. So do you keep your LinkedIn? Do you delete it? Do you add both experiences on there? Well, of course not. So what do you really do? Before I get into that, make sure you check out the overemployed masterclass in there. We teach you how to become and how to stay overemployed. So check that out in the description box and the pinned comment below. Okay. So if you get your second remote job, what you have to do is basically delete your LinkedIn. So whether you hibernate it, which essentially just deletes it without permanently deleting it, you can always reactivate it. Or if you just permanently delete your LinkedIn, that's fine too. I recommend hibernating. And once you hibernate, no one will be able to see your LinkedIn. No one can tag you. No one can look at your post history, your employment history, nothing. And you need to do this because if you don't, people might see your past employment experience and they might wonder why you're still leaving it there and if you have co-workers or managers that are active on social media platforms such as LinkedIn they might tag you and tag you for team building event, events you know pictures or whatever even just your name and then someone else from your other company might see that so it's best to just avoid 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 there's no benefit to having your LinkedIn once you become overemployed. Now, you might ask, wait, what if I want to keep applying to jobs on LinkedIn? Because for me, LinkedIn is an amazing job posting platform. So that's true. What you can do, though, is create a dummy LinkedIn account, so like a fake one, basically, just to find those job postings. Now, you won't have the advantage of having your entire profile there with all your connections and your experience and education laid out. But it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you just need access to those job postings and employers will see your resume anyway. So your LinkedIn profile is not actually that important. What matters more is your resume and you'll have access to those postings even with a fake dummy LinkedIn account. So to summarize all of it, hibernate your LinkedIn account. You don't need it once you're overemployed and that's how you're going to make sure you avoid any possible suspicions or slip ups and other people seeing that you're overemployed. So if you like that, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you do the same thing, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time.